Okay, let's go live. Good morning, everybody. My name is Jeffrey W. Jansen. Today is March 27th, 2017. And as your local weatherman would say, it is raining outside. It's a 100% chance of rain because it's already raining. Anyway, this is Monday Morning Motivation. How's everybody doing today? You guys motivated this morning? Probably not. It's Monday. Why should you be motivated on a Monday? My gosh, you're coming off the weekend. However, you should be very, very motivated because your entire life is in front of you right now. Everything you have to work for, everything that you got to gain starts right now this week. How do I mean? Well, let's see here. Did you do your goals for New Year's Eve? Yeah, I'm still going off those New Year's Eve resolutions. How many of y'all are keeping up with them? How many of y'all have given up, but you need to get back to them? Let's go, people. It's not time to give up on yourself. Remember, the only person that can stop you from doing what you want to do is you. Nobody else can stop you from doing what you want to do. If you want to be motivated, you have to motivate yourself. You have to basically get out there, find a good reason to do what you want to do, and then explode and do it. Now, why do I say it like that? Every one of us has to set goals for ourselves, but you gotta set small goals. Goals that are achievable, but not so small that, that you stay within your comfort zone. You must strike outside your comfort zone. If you do not move outside your comfort zone and set goals that are right outside your comfort zone, you're never gonna get ahead. Remember, getting ahead doesn't mean you're in front of somebody. Getting ahead means you're able to step outside your comfort zone and expand that comfort zone over and over again until soon your comfort zone is so large you don't know where it stops and ends because you get comfortable doing things that you normally or otherwise would not do. Give you an example. If you're not used to going out and working out every day, okay, but you decide to get out of bed, do a push-up. Yes, one push-up. Everybody can probably do one push-up. That is outside some people's comfort zone. Some people would look at that as in, oh my God, Jeff, what are you talking about? You gotta do more than one. No, some people that may be all they're able to do. Other people may be able to do 100 push-ups. Some people may have to go in between, do 10 or 15. This is just an example of how to set your goals. This is not telling you to go do push-ups, okay? This is to tell you to set your goals right outside your comfort zone and be more than who you are today and actually go out there and achieve more. If all of a sudden you don't even understand what getting locked in a habit is, the reason why I teach muscle memory in the Marine Corps when we go to the rifle range, all right? The reason why the drill instructors, the reason why the, the coaches always tell us to get rid of our bad habits and to do something over and over again, no matter how much you hate it, is because you have to do what's called muscle memory. We have been programmed in our life to stay within our comfort zones. You have been programmed, you just don't know it. Why do I say you've been programmed? Because you have been. That's the reason why when we work outside our comfort zones, we don't like it because we're not used to it. However, if you do it enough and you keep pushing enough and you just gradually work outside your comfort zone a little bit farther each time, you'll gradually develop what's called muscle memory. It's not always for military learning how to shoot a rifle. It's also for people in sales, people working out, people that are going for an interview. Look, it's not natural to go in for an interview, but guess what? If you keep doing it over enough and maybe actually call in advance, figure it out, go to college classes, go to vocational schools, eventually you're gonna be okay with going into that. You're never gonna be extremely happy with it, but you gotta get through it to get to it. If you want that job, you have to go through that, uh, you have to get an audition. You have to be able to get in and sit down with the management. You know, you have to go in and you have to apply for that job. Now, if you're trying to lose weight, well, think about it. Why do people quit when they're trying to lose weight? They're not used to trying to lose weight. Okay? If you're not used to losing weight and you're saying, I'm going to go out tomorrow, I'm going to get up and lose weight, and you get up and like, oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow, it's because your muscle memory is telling you, don't go lose weight. I don't want you to lose weight. Your body's telling you, heck no, I'm just fine the way I am. Fat, nasty, and a slob. Now this is gonna sound gross, but it's true. And I want people to listen up to this because this is disgusting, but so many of you fall into this habit. If you're not used to getting up in the morning and brushing your teeth, 
It's because you didn't program yourself from a kid to get out up in the morning and brush your teeth. If you're not teaching your kids to brush their teeth in the morning, then they're not getting the muscle memory to brush their teeth. You follow along what I'm saying? If you don't do something over and over and over again, how on earth are you ever going to learn to be proficient at it? How on earth are you going to learn to get through it? You know, when I say that you got to go through things to get to things, I'm not joking about that. You have to do stuff in order to get to stuff. When I tell everybody, look, I am going through my work to get to more work. I am going through exercise to get the outcomes I want. If you want to basically lose weight, that means you got to get through the push-ups, through the sit-ups. You've got to get through the running. If you want to get through a marathon, you got to get to the marathon to get through it. In other words, you need to sign up. You need to take that initiative to, to program yourself to do these things. Okay, take for instance, you want to quit smoking. So stop freaking smoking. You know, everybody's like, I can't, I can't, my body. Well, you know what? You're in control of that. If you stop smoking and you go from day to day and just quit and you keep writing yourself little notes all over the place, I got to quit smoking. Do not touch the cigarettes. I got to quit drinking. Do not touch the alcohol. You keep putting notes up there. After 60, after 90 days, eventually you'll be strong enough to not do it. And if you have peer pressure, get rid of them friends that are trying to force you to do things that you're trying to get through. You have to get through it to get to it. You've got to get over your fears. You've got to be muscle memory. If you're going to go out for sales, if you're going to go out for insurance, if you're going to go out for business, if you're going to open up a business, if you're going to go in for an interview, what are the initial steps you got to take? Get up in the morning. Eat. Brush your teeth. Put on a clean shirt. Put on a clean tie. Put on a clean dress. Put on a clean outfit. The reason why is you don't want to go in there. You want to have an upper hand. Sometimes if you do the sure basics of everything, look, muscle memory, the basics, that'll get you farther in life than you can ever imagine. If you need to go work out, why are you taking the elevator when you can take the steps? Why are you driving to work when you can walk to work? Why are when you going home at night or are you sitting down on the couch when you go out with your kids and take a walk? You know what? Use your kids as a reason to exercise. Go outside and play with them. Do sports with them. Kick the soccer ball around with them. Play basketball with them. Do things that are actually benefiting you. Now, you want to go out to sales? Always be honest with people. Always be upfront with people. Always be real with people. If you lie to anybody, exaggerate what you do, then you're not being honest. You're not being upfront. You're actually not only lying to them, but you're lying to yourself. What, to get a sale? You know what? Sales are not worth getting if you have to lie to somebody. You know how many times I've gone into places and I've seen other salespeople sit there in different businesses, lie to somebody just to get the sale, and then they come back and they laugh at me like, ha, 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 ha. And you know, the only thing I'm thinking is, that's not even a sale. You have to educate people. If you cannot educate people on what you do, then don't do it. If you're trying to sell a box of Girl Scout cookies, but there's another girl down the road, and then all of a sudden you're telling everybody that your Girl Scout cookies create magical powers and their don't, how on earth... Is that being fair? How, what are you teaching your kids? How to lie, cheat, and steal? That's crap. If that's all you know how to do, then you need to reprogram yourself entirely. If you're sitting there stealing business from other people because you think that's the only way you're going to get business, then you need to go back to school and figure out how to educate yourself on how to be a better person. Okay? Look, everything in life with the motivation. This is Motivational Monday. The only people that you can do is be honest with yourself. You need to forgive and forget past failures. You need to understand that if you don't fail, without failure, you can never succeed. How on earth do you know what to do if you've never fallen? How do you know if you've never lost a sale? How do you know if you missed, didn't make that weight gain? In wrestling season, when I used to wrestle all the time, we had to make weight all the time. I started out in junior high, I think at 132. In high school, I was wrestling at 152. All right? Every time, every week, almost every day, we had to make weight. How did we make weight? Had to run, had to do whatever it took to bring that weight down. You know why? Because if you didn't make weight, you didn't wrestle. If you didn't make weight, you didn't get to compete. If you weren't, and guess what? You can't lie to yourself. And if you lied to yourself, then you get disqualified. So every day, you need to look at it like that. If you lie to yourself, you're not going to get it. Even if you get that sale, if you went and cheated somebody out of a sale, cheated somebody out of insurance, cheated somebody out of a job, went in and lied on an interview, went in and lied to yourself, it's not going to be long before the repercussions are going to come and hit you. Why? Because you know you were wrong. 
Guess what? You're going to be harder on yourself when it comes back to bite you in the butt than you're going to be on anybody else. You need to forgive past experiences. You need to let the past go. Guess what? They're over. They're done. God forgave you. You need to leave it at the cross. Leave it with Jesus. Whatever you've got to do in order to get motivated to build yourself up for today. This is Monday. What are you going to do for today to make yourself better? Let me ask you this. Yesterday when I was on here and I told everybody, write down what you're going to do for Monday. Did you write it down or did you just look at me like a crazy man? No, you need to write down. You need to prepare yourself for the week. You have objections. You have goals. You need to set those goals and need to accomplish them every day. But remember, keep your faith in priority. Keep your kids in priority. And then keep your goals in priority, meaning you've got to set yourself some decent goals every day so that you can hit them. If you're setting goals knowing you're automatically going to hit them, then your goals aren't high enough. If you set your goals so high that you're never going to be able to hit them, I'm sorry, but no one's going to do 100 sales in a day. I'm sorry, but no one's going to lose 50 pounds in a day. And if you set your goals for that day, within 24 hours, you're going to lose 50 pounds. You're lying to yourself. Get over it. And if you don't know what's a lie and what's a fib because your mind is basically, oh, I can do this. I'm so motivated. I'm going to do this. Then you need to get up with a workout partner. Today's speech is over workout partners. How can a workout partner help you? Sometimes we lie to ourselves. If you want to get motivated through the day, you need to have somebody that can tell you, even if it's writing yourself a note, which is your own self-workout partner, that look, I might be motivated, but I know I'm not going to hit 50 pounds today. It's impossible. Unless somebody comes over with a hacksaw and starts trimming off the fat, I'm not going to lose the weight. I'm not going to be able to go out and do 100 sales because there's no way possible for me to get that many people. But what you can do is set it just a little bit. If you wanted to lose two pounds, yeah, I can lose two pounds. That's great. Then you should be shooting for four pounds. You know why? Because you shot for two pounds knowing you can get that easily. However, times it by two. Go for four pounds. If your sales are, I can get sales, 10 sales today, good. Times it by two. Get 20 sales today. Don't go over your limit, but make sure to set goals for the end of the week, end of the month, end of the sixth month, and end of the year. Never cut yourself short, but don't put it to where you can never achieve greater than who you are. Setting goals means once you hit that goal, that's great. Do not celebrate once you hit that goal. That goal means nothing. This is why. Once you hit that goal and all these people out there, oh, I hit my goal, yay. No. When you hit your goal, move farther on. Do the next thing. Go a little bit further. Why? Prove to yourself you can go farther than what the goal you set. Go farther than the goal you set. Once you hit that goal, man, I made it to that goal. Oh my God, that was tired. No, shut up and move on to the next person. Move on to the next pound. Oh my gosh, you ran a marathon. Go back and run with somebody else that's coming over the finish line. Then you're going to be hurting. Then you're going to feel it in your muscles. Then your muscle memory is going to start taking hold of yourself and you're going to be able to do more. But guess what? That means tomorrow or the next day or next week when you set those same goals, now you're hitting four. Now all of a sudden it's like, man, I got to do two more. Why? Because your muscles are going to get used to it. Your brain's going to get used to it. When I'm reading you these books, that means I'm also reading the books off of here too so I can improve my memory, my brain. Read self-help books. They work. For everybody that says, oh, you don't need that. That's a bunch of malarkey. Great. You know what? You sit there and you still, you stay in your own little comfort zone and get nowhere. You want to come out of your comfort zone, get ahead in life, get the promotion, get the raises, get the sales, get the credit. Then you need to do more than the person that's sitting there telling you, oh, I don't need that. I'm just fine where I'm at. Or, oh, I'm going to inherit my daddy's business. You know, most people that inherit their family's businesses are not hard workers and they lose them or they have to put them to a board where the board actually tells them how to do it. The people on the war board work harder than that person that inherited a business. Why? Because they don't know what it means to be failures. You have to be a failure in life. You need to fail forward. If you do not fail forward, how do you ever expect to succeed? How do you know? It's like if you fall down and it hurts and you get back up, do you want to fall again? No. The whole point of failing sometimes is so we don't do it again or we understand that we're not uh, immortal. We will always fail and it's okay, it, but it's who gets up and keeps moving forward. You know, years back, I fell so many times. I fell straight on my face. I found out who my friends were. I found out all the fakes, the liars, the cheaters. I had people kicking me when I was down, kicking me. And you know what happened when they were kicking me when I was down? I hated it. And I vowed I will never go through that again. I will never deal with fake people again. 
So when I got back up and all those same people came back like, oh, Jeff, I'm so proud of you. Huh? Great. You mean nothing to me. Not that you're not important. I don't love you. But you mean nothing to me anymore because instead of helping a person, you saw a person failing and you thought they would never get back up. But I forgave them. But I also knew never to trust them again. I knew to keep moving forward because they were always going to be on the sidelines and they're going to clap for the person that's in the lead. They're never going to clap for the underdog. And I happen to be the underdog. Now, why am I giving you my life story? Because my life story is like this. I have fallen, I've getting up. I have fallen, I've getting up. And I keep falling. Today, I was on a leadership call because I've got the Lady of Justice Award. I do not feel worthy of that award, but I got it anyway. And I got it without even knowing I was going to get it because I decided a long time ago to never sit on my butt. I decided to get up and keep moving forward and not give in or give up. I quit going to the bars. I quit going out and, you know, having fun and, you know, taking up my time. I quit wasting my time with people that were wasting my time. I stuck with people that believed in me. Now when I go out, it's gonna be with people that are always motivating me, that are always raising me up. I'm not gonna go out with the people that are gonna complain about their kids, complain about things every single day, that wanna go get drunk because life has no purpose. Look, I don't drink anymore because life has a purpose to me. I want to live for tomorrow. I, my greatest days are ahead of me and so are yours. And I'm leading by example. If I can do it, so can every single one of you because I'm a nobody. But because I keep pushing, that makes me a somebody. And I want to bring every one of you with me. So when I'm out here and you're over there sitting on your couch today because, oh, I can't get a job, shut up and go in like I told everybody else. Look, you want to do something funny and you want to work outside your comfort zone and you don't know how to get a job, go put on a tie. This is my challenge to you. Go put on a tie, put on a nice pair, or put up pants, okay? Go into a work, even if they're not hiring, ask who the manager is. Go sit in that manager's office and say, I just want to come in here. When they come in, they're like, uh, who are you? I'm here to apply for a job. They're like, well, we're not hiring. They're like, good, you want to hire me. Why would I want to hire you? We're not hiring. Good, here's what I can do. Don't take no for an answer. Go sit in that office and you be determined to get that job. Why? Determination may get you that job. All these people look in the paper and everything else for businesses that are hiring, right? Did you know most businesses do not apply? They actually just count on people suggesting them. So why don't you go in there and say, look, I'm here for the job. Don't sit there and say, are you guys hiring? Say, I'm here for the job. Be confident in yourself. Be motivated. Be confident. That's why I'm teaching every single one of you. I have 22 brothers and sisters every day in the military that are killing themselves because they don't believe they're good enough. And I'm telling each and every one of you, military and non-military, you are good enough. You just have to know how the system works. Here's how the system works. It works when you decide it works. It works when you decide to get off your butt, keep going out there, and move on with your life. Who cares if you're a Democrat? Who cares if you're a Republican? Who cares if you're left or if you're right? What matters is that you're determined to accomplish your goals. And when you get motivated to accomplish your goals, you must write them down. You must have a clear picture of what you're going to do. You're going to get the job. You're going to lose the weight. You're going to get the sale. Once you go out there and do that, then you're going to get muscle memory in that area. Then what you got to do is move on from that area and go to the next area. It's up to you because it's your destiny. Your greatest days are ahead of you. And I'm here to tell you every single day, you can do it. Your greatest days are ahead of you. I believe in you. I trust you. Now trust in yourself. Trust in God. He will get you through anything. Leave your problems at the foot of the cross. I don't care about baby mama drama, baby daddy drama. I don't care who's divorcing who. I don't care who's cheating on who. I don't care who's doing drugs. I don't care who's an alcoholic. I don't care who's smoking. I don't care about that peddly BS that you hear every single day on Facebook. What I care about are all those success stories out there of people that thought they had nothing and they made it farther in life because they chose to do something with their life. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Choose to do something with your life. Choose to make a difference in your life. Choose to be better today than who you were yesterday. Who cares about those people that are negative? Who cares about those people that are sitting at the bar talking, oh man, you know this person. I don't care. All I care is that you succeed in life. And if you pay attention to those naysayers and you keep hanging around with those people that care nothing about you, that want you to listen to their sad, sobby stories, then you're going to get nothing. If you go after nothing, you'll get nothing. You need to set your goals high. Do it for your kids. Do it for yourself. Do it for God. I don't care who the heck you do it for. Just go out there and do it. And if I can't motivate you, fine. Find somebody that can. And I apologize if you think I'm yelling at you.
Uh oh. I guess Facebook thought I was yelling at him. <laughs> All right, we are trying to reconnect. And that do get hot. Well, that's one way to end things. So, Facebook will shut me down because it's trying to reconnect due to poor wireless connection. We got a bad storm, so. Anyway, my name is Jeffrey Jansen. Do the best you can be. Be who the best you can be. God bless.